This episode of Analog Resurgence is brought to you by Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description or the code Analog Resurgence will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Before I get into the video today, I've got a giveaway running on the channel. If you didn't see the video from last week, definitely go check it out. I shot some super high contrast, really interesting 16 millimeter film stuff. And I've partnered with the liaison of independent filmmakers of Toronto to do a little prize pack giveaway. A little bit of 16 millimeter film, a general membership that gives you access to some of their online learning resources, some great stuff with an amazing artist run organization. It's open worldwide. Go check out the video from last week for more information. The giveaway is on until Monday, May 16th at noon Eastern time. It's time for another Super 8 short film. With the help of my friends Jeremy and Jordan, we've been making a few Super 8 short films over the last couple of months, and I've already posted two, and this is the third and final one that we shot. The film, processing, and scanning has all been supplied to us for these little projects by Pro 8 Millimeter out in California, so you can check the link in the description of this video for more information on that. For each of these shorts, we shot them over just one Super 8 cartridge, and shooting at 18 frames per second on my Nikon R10, that gives us about three and a half minutes to work with. So it's kind of all about making the best of the limited limitations of the Super 8 format. We did this short in the style of like an old kids TV show called The Adventures of Felt Boy and Meat Sack. I made a little puppet and also I'm the only one kind of acting in this one. So uh, it's all on me. I can't see it out of these at all. George. Jeremy and Jordan directed and shot the entire thing and we also recorded sound on set. Once again, Jordan did some incredible editing on this and once we got the audio and the film scans into Premiere Pro, he was able to manipulate things into a good looking sync. Action. Camera. As I mentioned in the short from a few weeks ago, the biggest kind of roadblock with this is the sound of the Super 8 camera itself because most of these Super 8 cameras are really noisy. Action. Oh, felt boy, you need some kind of an x-ray spectacles to see in the belly of this piece. Cut. So the best advice I can give to people is to cover your camera in some way to reduce the sound of the motor running even just a little bit. We just ran it as is and we applied some noise removal in the program Adobe Audition which helped to cut out a lot of that noise but it also starts to impact the audio itself. Overall we're really happy with how this turned out and it was a lot of fun. We made a really rough little kind of spaceship cockpit set in Jordan's living room and we shot all of this stuff on just 200 ISO tungsten color negative film for Super 8. Even though we weren't working with like really nice high quality bright studio lights we got away with a really good looking exposure on all of this stuff so i'm really happy with how it's all come out <laughs> one property to do a fan film of. Yeah, I'd pick a fan film of like something people wouldn't think of, like a Miss Doubtfire or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, no, no, the, the puppet's on wires, he goes like, Woo! <laughs> like maze, solve the maze! So you gotta move him with that. Maze, solve the maze, you dolt! The maze on the back of the box! Solve the maze. <laughs> okay. So enjoy the adventures of Felt Boy and Meat Zack. We now return to the adventures of Felt Boy and Meat Sack, brought to you by Moshman's Sugar Steak Cereal. Jeez Louise, Meat Sack, we're going down! What's your problem, you fat wad? Did you forget to start off your morning with a hearty bowl of Moshman's Sugar Steak Cereal? I misplaced our milk, and you know our cow is dead. What's the computer say? <laughs> this is harder to read than my dyslexia test results. Quick, you half-wit! The box! <laughs> Find an official Fellboy Meat Sack decoder ring in one out of every five boxes of Marshman Sugar Snake cereal! Warning, severe choking hazard. <laughs> Use it to decipher the computer readout of this broken bucket of bullets! Solve the maze. Maze! Solve the maze, you dolt! The maze on the back of the box! <gasps> the engine! 
Oh, felt boy, you need some kind of x-ray spectacles to see into the belly of this beast. The, the box! box! Find two pairs of official Feltboy Meat Sack X-ray Specs in one out of every 45 boxes of Moshman Sugar Steak Cereal. X-ray Specs may cause early onset cataracts, intense tinnitus, and motion sickness. Put them on, Feltboy! I don't think this is my prescription, Feltboy. I'm through the walking glass, Meat Sack! Blunder has cost us dear. Moshman's Sugar Steak Cereal. The only cereal that combines the roughage of steak with the sweetness of sugar. How on earth will our heroes get out of that one? This is the last of a series of Super 8 shorts we shot like months ago now, and it's only now that we've been able to kind of edit them and finish them up and get them out. But it's a lot of fun to work with Super 8 in that way and do just a little project and confine yourself to the restrictions of just using one Super 8 cartridge. The Straight 8 Festival that we entered last year as well is a great example of that, where you have to get one cartridge of Super 8 and you have to shoot everything sequentially for your short and you can't edit anything. And then you see it for the first time when it's actually Screen. Super 8 definitely isn't the greatest format for everything. There's a lot of limitations for it. It's only 50 feet of film and you can't get larger quantities of that for these cameras. There's a lot of crappy, cheap, plastic, no-name brand cameras out there from over the years that just aren't working anymore. They're very loud and very, very few of them actually have a professionally designed sync motor for working with audio easily. But combining it with digital editing nowadays, you can kind of work around the sync limitations and just kind of get things to a point where they're working. And I think a big part of Super 8 are the restrictions that the format have and that makes it much more fun to kind of work with and set some rules around what you're going to shoot. Once again, working with formats like that and those kinds of restrictions makes it a very different experience from digital filmmaking. Big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring the video this week. Skillshare is a massive online learning community that will allow you to explore and discover a huge variety of different topics. Everything from animation to creative writing to gardening to graphic design and web developing. If there's always been something that you have an interest in but haven't had the ability to kind of explore further, then there's a really good chance that Skillshare has got you covered in that department. Maybe you want to make the very bold, strange decision to start making your own YouTube videos, in which case, check out things like Video Editing with Premiere Pro for Beginners by Jordi Vandeput. Maybe you want to get better at photo editing, in which case you can check out programs on Adobe Lightroom like this one by Sean Dalton. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description of this video or my code Analog Resurgence will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you so much for checking this out and especially thank you to Pro8 for supplying these Super 8 film kits for us. And a huge shout out of course to Jeremy and Jordan and as always Jordan has edited all of these ones for me which has taken a lot of work off of my plate. I don't know for sure when we're going to get around to doing more of these and I'd really like to but I'd also really like to pursue some bigger projects in the future maybe something on 16mm as opposed to doing like a series of smaller Super 8 projects. It's a lot of fun but it's also a lot of time and usually a lot of money when you're working with this stuff. There's links in the description of this video for if you're interested in supporting the channel through things like merch that I have available or the Patreon that helps me to support this stuff or even the Skillshare link that is sponsoring this video today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.